All right, first and foremost, I would like to give all honors, praises, and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh Baisham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Muhammad Kaakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe. Lord willing, this won't be too long. And um, flow with the Spirit, flow with the Spirit. You have a lot of things that are going on, but what's the point of complaining? What's the point of complaining? Right, we're going to start off with Wisdom of Solomon. Actually, Ecclesiasticus. What you're going to find out, right, is when you're seeking to do the right thing, right, in a wicked world, you're going to be held back. Right, when you're seeking to do the right thing in a wicked world, you're going to be held back. And that's, that's just the way it is, right? Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 2. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh, right? Prepare thy soul for temptation. It's very straight to the point, right? So when you come to serve Yahweh Shai, multiple, various temptations. And a temptation is a trial, right? That you're going to have. So we're going to have trials. And it's to try to entice one to sin, to go off. The temptation is based on enticement to do evil. Set the heart to right. So we've got to set our minds to right and realise, well, it's for a reason. Because not everybody's being tempted. The average person in the world, they're not being tempted like we're being tempted. Okay. Set the heart to right. And constantly endure. So we have constantly enduring these different things that we go through. Constantly. Okay. Make not haste in a time of trouble. Don't run away. Do not run away in the time of trouble. Make not haste. So we don't want to be hasty. Right? The reason why it says that. Make not haste. Because a lot of our people, guess what? They're haste. When things go wrong. Right? They run off in haste. Right? We always got to be dependent on the Lord. We've got to put him first. And look, I'm not going to lie. There's certain things I'm trying to... So you know what? It's not... Again, that's... It's not for me to sort out. It's for the Heavenly Father and His Son to sort out. But obviously, you want to... You want to make sure things are right with ourselves, right? So, the Lord's going to deal with it anyway. Endure, make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away. That there may be increased at the last end key thing but that may be increased at thy last end so that's when the that increasement comes the increasement's going to come at the last end at the end after that that, that, that temptation right that's when the increasement that's when you're going to see it okay but that may be increased at the last end so that increasement comes after that temptation that's when you see the increasement, right? It's, it's what this truth is about. You're able to increase in knowledge, in wisdom, in understanding. The more you go through, the more of experience, right? All right, the Lord Yahavashai, let me tell you, he's faithful. All right, Yahavashai is faithful, but we have to trust in him, right? And I'm not going to lie, I have been putting other things first. I've got to leave it into Yahavashai's hands in terms of opportunities and all that. Yeah, I just went into... I don't give no names, I just went into an adult learning centre. Alright. Got all, got all my documents. Now they're saying, guess what? The course is being cancelled. So all of a sudden, the course is being cancelled. All of a sudden. See, it is people. We know, we know that's the enemy. We know that's Satan. Right? Trying to hinder us. But that's why we have to lean on Yahweh Shai. Right? That's why we have to lean on him. Okay. And put him first. That's what I'm learning now. When you really worry about the things of the world, it just makes things worse. It makes things much worse. Right? Much, much worse. Okay? We need to focus on the truth. That's what we're supposed to be focusing upon. Okay? That. And everything else will get sorted out after. Okay? Cleave unto him and depart not away. Whatsoever it is brought upon thee, 
take cheerfully. That's what we've got to do. Take it cheerfully with a smile on your face. And be patient when I change to a lower state. So we get brought to lower states in this truth. Low. All right? For gold is tried in a fight and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So that's what we're going through. But we still have to take it cheerfully. And it says patient when you're changed to a lower state. So we get low moments. All right? It doesn't mean you're done. It doesn't mean you're through. It's the Lord Jehovah Shai doing that. So we can be more centered on him. Remember, the world doesn't care. Really, the world wants you to stop teaching these scriptures. Look at the patterns. Look at what people are doing. They don't want you teaching these scriptures. They want you back into the world. They want you back in evil. Okay? You have to pay attention to the signs. For gold is tried in a fire. An acceptable men in a furnace of adversity. Key thing. Furnace of adversity. So that's what we're going through. We're going through a furnace of adversities, man. Okay. Believe in him and he will help thee who, Yahabashai. Order their way of right and trust in him. So there's opportunities, right, that I want to go for. And I clearly see that there's people, right, telling other people, nah, counsel that, don't do that. But you know what? That's all of the Lord anyway. Because if you're not supposed to do something, you're not going to do it anyway. So it's all spiritual. But that's, that could be a temptation as well. All right? But I'm just learning to put the Lord first because he comes before all things. Right? And it says, but because you believe in him and he will help thee, order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, go not aside lest you fall. So we've got to continue to just fear the Lord and trust in his mercy, man. And do what he says. Not your fraternities, not these brotherhoods, which I'm a part of a brotherhood. I'm a part of the brotherhood of Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai. He had a brotherhood, right? And that was the 144,000. The elect. Keep your calm. Don't be focused on what people are doing too much. Don't be focused on that. Focus on Yahweh Shai. And listen, he's going to come through for us. As long as you endure. As long as you endure. Right? This thing, this thing is designed to destroy you just endure listen satan sees your potential these other people see your potential right they see it right they see it but they don't want you to see it right because maybe if you don't see it then you, you wouldn't be able to excel bro no they see it but they can't have that they need everyone on a on a What's it, a level, level playing field? It's like you can't be too smart. You're too smart in a wicked society. They don't want that. We just have to trust in the Lord Jehovah Shai. Right? Our Lord, and I don't want this lesson to go too long as well. You that fear the Lord, believe in him, and your reward shall not fail. Right? You that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Always have that expectation, no matter what's happening around us. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of dark energy surrounding it. You still got to maintain that hope and that everlasting joy. It's because you're, bro, you're doing something right. You're doing, you're doing something right. Yeah. You that fear the Lord, believe in him and your watch will not fail. You that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Did any ever trust in the Lord and was confided? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Whom did he ever despise that called upon him? None were, none were despised. And he never forsook those that were doing his will. His will. Center. Like, this is the center thing. Now there's other people out here. They want to try, try to control what you do, what your outcome. Guess who's in control of everything? Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Right? Of the outcome. Everything. Doesn't matter how things may seem. Always keep in mind, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, rearing control. Now, Satan's whole job is to cause confusion, destroy, and just cause a. That's his whole job. Right? That's his job. But we've got to put our trust in Yahweh Shai. When all hell is breaking loose, we've got to put our trust in Him. 
right? That's what we got to do, right? Knowing he's going to come through for us, okay? So we went to that. This ain't going to be a long one, right? Do not think it's strange what we're going through, okay? It ain't a strange thing at all, okay? This is James. Check this out. James 1 and 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. So that's what we're going through. We're going through many different temptations, yeah? and diverse, right? Diverse temptations. Okay. That's because, bro, you have something that other people don't have, and they see it as well, bro. They see it. Mm? They see what we have. But then you have envious people, bad mind people that put you on put you on some type of list. They put you on a list on with the hopes of destroying you. Yet some someone put you on some list. But I don't even want to get caught up on that. I don't want to get caught up on that all. Oh, the main thing is teaching this word and staying faithful. That's the main thing. Knowing this that you're trying of your faith work with patience, so listen. Many temptation and the trying of our faith is doing what? It's working patience. Great, 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 great patience within us. Mm? Wait, this thing's about patience. The Lord Jehovah is going to come through for us, man. If you're of the elect, you're of the elect. Nobody can stop that. Satan can throw this obstacle in a way, that obstacle, make sure you don't get this, you don't get no flat, you don't get this, you don't get woman, you don't get this. He can do, Satan can do all those things. Right? Take your family away. He can do all those things, but he can't stop you from being of the elect. Why? Because the elect were predestined. Right? From the foundation of the world. Got to keep that in mind. I'm telling you. Right? And yeah, that's Satan's whole job. Is to use scenarios against you and create certain... Yeah. Right? That's his MO. So we went to that. We're going to shut off soon. Go to Corinthians. They have no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. All right? Wait, this is common. Really, you know what Satan wants, wants you to do? Satan wants you to have a nervous breakdown. Satan wants you to have a nervous breakdown. He wants you to turn, he wants you in a mental asylum or dead, right? Right? And that's simple as that. Because what we carry is what we carry. And the rulers of society, they don't want that. They just want a system full of compliance, which I comply, but there's, there's levels to compliance as well. Right? And yeah, they paid it. So they don't even pay these people off. Satan uses these people that are already juiced in to try to stop what we're doing. But we have to focus on Yahweh Shai. That's who we have to focus on. Keep our eye single. Okay? This is 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. They have no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. So, we're supposed to be going through these things. It's common to the other brothers in this truth. But the Heavenly Father is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. So he's not gonna, he's not gonna put too much upon your plate. Read that again. They have no temptation you taken you, but such is common to man. So this is a common thing what we're going through but the heavenly father is faithful key thing faithful <laughs> who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able so he's not gonna exceed that limit of your temptation he's gonna put you for a temptation that you can handle but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it so with that temptation he always creates a way for you to escape that temptation always it's this keyword escape but if we're not paying attention if we're not doing what Yahweh says and submitting ourselves then how are you going to escape it if we're trying to do things by our own accord and that's how I got in a lot of situations trying to do fi certain things trying to do it myself we can't do it ourselves you have to lean to Yahweh Shai. We can't do it ourselves. 
right? Lean unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and he shall direct thy paths. Okay. Right, Lord willing, this was edifying. And um, on to the next one, Shalom.